guys welcome back to ftb skies episode 4 in today's episode we are doing a tree farm but before that guys have discovered that our backpack this thing right here a sophisticated backpack can accept upgrades and i believe you go like a so to make an upgrade base very nice and this gives us some rewards which is experience and a feeding upgrade which makes it so that any food that is located in the backpack is actually fed to the player i'm going to upgrade that to the next level for which you need the actual feeding upgrade a diamond two gold ingots and three redstone and then if you open up the backpack and place it here you can switch it on and off and then you have advanced feeding settings only feed player when it's handy enough yes yes feed as soon as the player is tiny bit yeah this is the one i need i placed in the barbecue on a stick which is an amazing meal one more upgrade i want to install is a crafting upgrade which goes like a so to iron chest and a crafting table and you get a crafting upgrade which is amazing very nice next thing i want to make is obsidian and i haven't found many ways of doing obsidian but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put neverack into a mechanical squeezer which makes lava very very slowly and then i'm going to pump that lava into a solidification chamber which will have cobblestone and this should make obsidian let's see yep it just needed energy. Well, anyways, it's a slow process, but we can automate it by providing pedestals with uh, cobblestone going into the solidification chamber and nether going into the mechanical squeezer. And I will actually do that, right? This should do it. So mechanical squeezer squeezing down nether into lava, and then this thing converting the lava into obsidian provided with cobblestone. And this is provided with nether A uh, small little setup, but eventually it will pay off. Ooh, spoils back the ham that's nice oh guys a little bit nice oh i need to i need the poppy hello please come yes yes nice now we need a fence guys let me get a fence real quick i'll need some of those two planks the fence like a so yes it is hello let's place it right here oops very nice that's our first bee. That's amazing. Now, did it drop anything? I don't think it did. All right. We'll need some sugar and some planks. There you go. Oh my God. Did you make a beehive? Very nice. Now, what do we get? Oh, another bee spawn egg. Noise. All right, guys. I made a temporary home for the bee. Please come with me. Hello. Please, please come inside. Noise. This should be fine. And then we have a second one. I guess we just spawn it. Nice. <laughs> and I'm guessing I'm going to dig underneath and place a campfire. All right. That's it for now. Guys, I was AFK. And check what happened. Where is he? There should be a wandering trader somewhere. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> is that him? A villager. Wait, what? Just sneak, right click, and we pick him up. We're the first villager. Nice. Oh my God, guys. So many distractions. I just want to build a tree farm. But check this out. This is an amazing ability bone meal the area holy poop all right let's test this out mm. right well the ability doesn't work uh that fast when it's just level one. Oh, it did work <laughs> nice all right guys well let's get uh, started with the tree farm now guys this tree farm is not the best it was just fun to build and yeah i mean there are much better choices because we are going with occultism and occultism the lumberjacks which i will show you in a bit are not there forever anyways this circle or ritual thingamabob is made so that it can host the biggest pentacle and that's it in case we want to use occultism in the future now for the lumberjacks we just need a small one which is this one perfection right i will need a golden sacrificial bow in the middle then four candles white candles like a so and white chalk like a so very nice then i will also need four sacrificial bowls which need to be placed within the circle and then to summon a spirit or a foliot a foliot lumberjack we will need a sapling a spruce sapling an oak sapling a birch sapling an axe and 
a book of binding. I have gathered all of the materials. And also I want to test out, does the kind of axe matter? For example, if I have a stone axe and a never a right axe, will it make a difference? And if you haven't watched my first or second episode, second episode, this is how you make a book of binding folio. Basically, you will need a spirit fire, but yeah, if you don't know how to make that and want to find out, go to my episode two. So episode two. Right. So we put the items in the sacrificial bowls. Actually, guys, I am <laughs> a noob myself. We will need one extra sacrificial thingamabob bowl, which is made by using five other stone. And this is where you place the axe. Now, I believe you need to bind the book. Yes, like a soul with the dictionary of spirits. And then you place it jungle sapling wait what let's replace one oak sapling with this other world sapling let's try this one more time nice so it does need a metal axe all right guys and when the ceremony is finished you have summoned a lumberjack folio successfully and you get the book of calling folio lumberjack now i believe i need to, uh, yeah you can right click him to pick him up and then right click again to uh, get him out of the book Perfect. Now he will deposit this wood into the chest, which is amazing. And of course, he will cut down trees, cover the saplings and logs and deposit them. That's amazing. Now, how do I set the area? All right, perfect. Set base location. So basically holding the book of calling, I just right click. And then as you can see, initially it's set deposit. But if you just click it, you get to select set base location 16 by 16. Uh, all right. So shift right click. And this means this folio will collect saplings in a range of 16 by 16 from here. And as you can see, he is planting the saplings, which is amazing. But if you shift right click, Huh. Well, he should have had a DK meter, but maybe they have removed it in this mod pack. Anyways, that means this guy will gather wood for us, which is amazing. He's already working. All right, guys, I've expanded the tree farm area. Anyways, this guy's collecting the trees. The only thing is that he doesn't collect all these guys but he's doing fine i've been using the wood he collects to continue with this right and so there's gonna be nine areas of uh, wood collection and we're gonna make eight more lumberjacks and i guess what metal you use doesn't matter so i made another four steel axes let's remove that so we'll go like a so and like a so this is the recipe no matter what the book shows this must be an overworld sapling All right and this will turn into another book of calling this thing right here and i will set him up on this side and i will continue with the others as well all right guys well it's going fine we got a few issues maybe these huge trees will cause an issue later and unfortunately these guys do not harvest mandrill trees but anyways if we go here to the aris nouveau quest line click on this notebook click ok get all that and then because we have a blazing sapling we get all the other saplings and actually we are going to set up all the Ars Nouveau saplings in the remaining polio locations like so and I will remove the mandrill saplings and replace them with the final archwood sapling very nice and I should have the final lumberjack ready noise well, we'll see. Oh no, that's a bad thing. Anyways, if one of them dies, we will find out soon. All right, guys. Well, it's been about six episodes of Vinland Saga season two later. So that's like an hour or something. And the farm, it's not a huge success. <laughs> it's not a huge success. I mean, we're getting something. We're getting some logs. The guys are working. Well, see, this guy, is he gonna die? 
Yep, he just died. Mm, so these trees sometimes kill these guys because they grow too big and they just kill them. So that's our second death of our lumberjacks because we had one die right here. But anyways, guys, that means that you yourself can build the same farm but use only oak saplings. I believe that's the best option. Maybe birch as well, but not the big ones like the archwood or the yeah the blossom and also not for mandrill so it's an okay farm it's not the best but i did it so you don't have to do it hmm. also guys i've got an army here now how do we get rid of those guys what do you call them we're really spreak weirdly spreak anyways you, you you i don't know all right i guess i have to figure this out as well power we've got like 41 million obsidian we have like 600 Everything is going slowly, but surely. I did get some spoil bags. Some of them are amazing. We got some honey, honeycombs. But anyways. Alright guys. Well, I upgraded the farm a bit. I've added a mob fun right here. Which pushes the mob down. And two mob fans. One pushing them down here and one pushing them all the way there. And I also switched this to tinted glass this side so that we can see these mobs here. Then because I had slime spawn right here I added some spikes because yeah they require three white space to fit in and I didn't want to change the whole farm. But maybe we will change the whole thing later. And guys uh, bad news uh, this farm. <laughs> the tree farm isn't working. These guys are so suffocating we have because at this point i felt like giving up but then after watching a few motivational shorts a lot of people can give up it's Don't easy to give up it's the easiest thing in the world to do i, am, I, am, I will I'm never done. quit i ain't going I, I picked myself up and i decided to finish off the tree farm all right guys after testing all the trees i decided to go with birch log you know why guys because these guys tend to get suffocated birch it's a straight tree and nothing grows like beside the sapling spot now if you're wondering why the trees are growing so fast it's because i've got a bone miller level 5 from our mob farm now guys i've removed all the other saplings and we've got six of them left i also removed the fences in the center so what i'm gonna do is summon each of the lumberjack then set deposit shift right click to this chest and then base location 64 by 64 and that's our first lumberjack second and so it goes. Well, that seems like a better tree farm than what we had before. What I was thinking, guys, is just, you know, have a section for each sapling. But yeah, it didn't work like that. Also, maybe I'll summon another Foliot. Hold on a sec. All right, guys. So the guy I want is called Foliot Janitor. And this guy will clean up all the items. Let's summon the janitor. <laughs> All right, so we can use one of our gone spirits and just transform it into a book of binding foliot bound. Then I'll need a chalk brush, which is very easy to make, a hopper, a dispenser, and a chest, and that book. And soon we will have a janitor and a book of foliot janitor. All right, guys, the summoning foliot janitor is done. Got a book. We can place him inside. Let's place him here. Shift right click. No, I just wanna. No, I just wanna see if he has DK. No, he doesn't. Maybe the bolt mod pack did remove DK for them. Anyways, let's see. He okay, said deposit. It's exactly the same. So he will also deposit to this chest. Perfect. Get to work, please. And you can filter the things he picks up. So if you want this guy to just pick up these guys, actually, let's do it. Let's do it guys let's do it um i need a trash can all right guys i was thinking maybe building a gourmand dynamo instead of throwing this away just process them into rf but anyways this guy is kind of lazy to be honest so what i'm gonna do is <laughs> whitelist all this Okay, you can't shift right click right and he's going to gather all these things but we're gonna set him here not the base sorry set deposit to the trash can 
Perfect. All right, guys, I was thinking of putting down a cable to this chest, but why not move the items closer? Just a tiny bit closer. And for that, we're going to need a folio transporter. The guy needs a minecart, a hopper, a chest, and a dispenser, and of course, a, a bound book of binding folio. All right, let's summon the transporter. Jason? Jason? Jason Statham? Nice. <laughs> Carnmornark. Right. Well, let's place this guy here and let's see. Okay. I just want logs and sticks, I guess, to be whitelisted. And then how do I set this? What was it? Okay. Set extract here. And then shift right click. No, right click. Change that to set deposit right here. And let's put this book here. Oh my God. He's transferring the logs. And again, no DK, which is fantastic. Well, that that is, uh, yeah, that's a nice tree farm. Well, I like it, guys. And as in life, you got the guys that work they butt off. And then <laughs> you've got Jimmy here, or Matsal Marthorne, who is wondering about life. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What is wrong with this guy? Are you seeing demons? Maybe, because he's a demon himself, I guess. No, wait, he's a spirit. Anyways, guys, if these guys go laggy on you, you just pick up the book, pick them up, place them down. They should work again. Yeah, the janitor is kind of baggy. I don't know, maybe he sees something that he wants to pick up. And Kasla Marlin. Kas. Kasma. Palaha Maladin. Kasla Marlin. Damn it. It's a good way of training my English accent and pronunciation. He's slacking as well. Right. All right, guys. Well, I figured out what was causing them to get stuck sometimes. It was these things. The feral player lanterns placed on the ground. They would just go, go up to them and just get stuck like so. But we figured this out by placing them higher. And now everybody seems to be working perfectly fine. Jason Statham is transporting everything. And then we've got Jimmy. Where's Jimmy? Where is Jimmy? Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy is working now. He's not wondering about life. He's working all day, every day. Oh my God, these guys, these guys are going insane. And yeah, I can place some saplings from time to time. And because of bone miller, they grow crazy fast. Oh no, Ooh, we saved. Oh my God, it was Jimmy. I don't remember which one was Jimmy. Hmm. Can we heal them? I don't know. Maybe. Anyways, if Jimmy, if Jimmy is no, I don't, I don't even want to think about it, guys. Oh my God, guys! I was just checking the mob farm and check this out. Destructive refined obsidian pack cell of grasping. Oh my God! Efficiency four. Is that? Where can I try it? Let's try it on a tree. We've got haste five somewhere here plus efficiency four. Oh my God! Oh my God! That is instant. That is absolutely fun freaking fantastic. Well, guys, at the end, the tree farm is actually doing pretty well. It's not a small one. It's a huge one, but I like it. These guys are doing work. Everybody's working. Everybody's doing what they are supposed to do. These guys are chopping down trees. The janitor is clearing up sometimes. Jason Statham is transporting logs and sticks into the chest, which is amazing, guys. Amazing. Good news, guys. Good news. Everything ended up quite well. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. I really hope you enjoyed, guys. <laughs> if you did like the episode, guys, please leave a like. It is very much appreciated and it does help us uh, creators get by. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!